I just have a couple other things to show you under the edit menu. So let's open an image. Let's go to the, uh, the duck. If we go to edit, you notice, I think I may have gone over this before, mentioned it briefly, but you notice we can't transform this. Why? Because it's a background and you're limited as far as what you can do from background. So we can convert it to a regular layer. take the default. Now it's a layer, not a background. Now, if we go up to edit, now we can transform it and do other things with it. Okay, so we've gone over a lot of these. Um, perspective, very similar to skew, but we're going to do warp. And warp is kind of like one of those things, you know, those funny mirrors that distort you. Um, can be used for a variety of different purposes. It's kind of like um, you know, if the, if the paper, I know I gave you the analogy that this is a piece of paper, but that you're able to grab sections in the middle of the paper and pull them up or down to the side. So you can grab any point here and pull in any direction, hold and click, and it's as if it's pulling the paper. See, these lines are, are kind of showing you um, uh, as if how the paper is is moving. So it's almost like there's something underneath the paper here. It's being pulled up. So you could distort it in any direction you want. Like so. Almost like a fish-eyed effect. See what I mean? And then once you get it how you want it. See, a matter of fact, it's even pulling it away from the canvas like a uh, real paper. And once you get it how you want it, you click enter. So that's the warp under edit transform. These ones are self-explanatory. Rotate 180 degrees. Rotate 90. Clockwise, counterclockwise. Flip horizontally. Flip vertically. Those are pretty easy. All right, define brush preset. Uh, that's not something you're going to be using a lot of. Define pattern, yeah. You can purge your undo history here. You can edit some uh, PDF presets, um, your color settings. Not going to use a lot of those. I know we went over the keyboard shortcuts, remember? This is where you can see see and modify the shortcuts for the menus and the keyboard and then there are some preferences that you may get into at some point later but uh, you're really not going to use those often so that's it for the edit menu